So I've been doing heart rate training for a lot of years and it guides a lot of my runs. I know a lot of you do also, but I think there's some common mistakes or misconceptions about it that I'd like to clear up today. Hi, I'm Ralph and welcome to the Aegis Runner. I enjoy running, I enjoy learning about running, and I especially enjoy sharing what I learned about running. And if you are like-minded, please consider subscribing to my channel. Now, mistake number one is typically people not understanding the reason for tracking heart rate. To me, the reason for tracking heart rate is keeping your easy runs easy. 80% of your training is going to be easy runs. You want to build the mileage base. So keeping your heart rate below 80% of your max heart rate, 80%, is the upper limit of zone three. So you wanna track your heart rate, keep your easy runs easy, and keep it below 80%. Now mistake number two people make with heart rate training is using an equation to calculate max heart rate. Y'all might think of the classic 220 minus your age. Well, experts say at best that underestimates it for older people and overestimates it for younger people. And there are other equations like the Hunt equation, the Tanaka equation, but they are based on statistical analysis of small groups of people. It's kind of like saying every 60 year old has the same weight, not every 60 year old has the same max heart rate. So you really need to do your own test. And the way I like to do it is start off with an easy warm up of 15 to 20 minutes, and then start doing two minute intervals. I recommend two minute run, 30 second walk, but during those two minutes you need to run kind of hard and do at least five of those. And then on the sixth one, really push it. And when you get to the end of that two minutes of that six run, uh, see what your max heart rate is. Now, maybe it'll peak a little bit after that. So maybe after you stop, you're, you know, there's a little bit of lag. Your heart rate may increase a beat or two. But towards the end of that six interval is, should be your max heart rate. Now, mistake number three is not having good heart rate technology. You know, wrist watches, you know, smart watches, running watches work good. But you better make sure they're tied down snug. You better cinch them up tightly to your wrist because movement and jostling around can affect heart rate. If you're really serious about heart rate training, I'd recommend invest in a chest strap to monitor your heart rate. It's snug, it's not uncomfortable, but it's snug, doesn't bounce around, and gives you more accurate heart rate data. And some of them even give you more data. My Garmin gives me some running dynamics, but get a chest rate strap if you're really serious about heart rate training. Now, mistake number four is not self-checking your heart rate with perceived effort. Because there's sometimes heart rate can be influenced by things other than your effort. For example, I just drank a cup of coffee and I go out for a run, that's going to affect my heart rate. If it's a really hot day, I did a run last August, it was hot, it was humid, I could hardly keep my heart rate down below that 80%. So heat, humidity, caffeine, stimulants can all affect your heart rate. So also use perceived effort. How are you feeling? Is it, is it easy as you define easy? Can you do a conversational pace? So look at heart rate, but also self-check with perceived effort. Now, last mistake I think people make with heart rate training is being too obsessed with it. In other words, continually monitoring heart rate, checking it all the time, and not enjoying the run, not enjoying what's around them. Look around me today, it's a beautiful blue sky day. It's wonderful out here. If I spend all my time checking my wristwatch, looking for heart rate, I miss what's going on around me. So use heart rate, but don't get obsessed with it. Hey, thanks so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you do me a favor and click that like icon below? That really helps my channel. And if you're new here, I'd love to spend more time with you. Please also subscribe. And if you do, be sure to click that bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks so much and happy running. Mm -hmm.